Hello and uh, welcome to Upstech America's Oracle EBS Financial Functional Training. My name is Bob and I'm the lead senior consultant for Upstech America. And today we are going to discuss the end month process and this is for the account receivables module. All right. Today we are going to discuss the end month process and this is for the accounts receivable module or the AR module. Okay. Now, like I said previously, as an Oracle Financials Functional Consultant, your work will not be just to just to do the setups, okay? Configuring and setting up the system. No, you will also be expected to help the end users with any mounted processes, okay? You have to understand how these processes work for you to be able to get to give the best solutions out there. All right for the client okay or to resolve any issues that may occur okay when you are helping them do the end month process okay so now some of the things that you have to note as far as the accounts receivable module is concerned when you're trying to, uh, to do the month end, end month close or uh, end month process uh, all shipments within the order management module should be processed before closing the accounts receivable module okay uh, the order management module is very connected to the to the receivables module, just like the, for example, the way the purchasing module is very connected to the accounts payables module. Okay, you raise your sales order within the order management module, and then you do the, uh, you know, you enter the transactions for those sales orders. In, um, by, by transactions, I mean the invoices, the AR invoices, then um, enter the the receipt transactions in the AR, which are very connected to the order management module. All right. So all shipments that have been uh, done in the order management module should be processed before closing your ER. Okay. Uh, you cannot close the ER if there is any unposted items. That's another thing that you need to note. All right. So as far as the ER is concerned, we can split this into three. Okay. Processes. Mostly, there are processes that are done on a day-to-day -day basis. There's a lot of transactions that happen within the accounts receivables module, okay? And there's also other processes that you may have to run uh, weekly, and there's other processes or tasks that you have to do at the end of the at the end of the month. All right. So, as far as the daily uh, tasks are concerned, uh, some of the things that you'll have to do is to enter any receipts, okay? Also, you may have to enter any transactions. When I mean transactions in, uh, in accounts receivables module, I mean the accounts receivables uh, invoices, all right? Uh, also, you can enter like credit memos and all that, all right? Now, uh, you can also run the auto invoice program, okay? Um, and also, you can also print your invoices, all right? Now, um, on a weekly, basis you can run your create accounting program to pick up all the transactions and create journal entries and send those journal entries to, into the general ledger okay also on a weekly basis you may have to reconcile your ar and gl balances all right now um on a monthly basis you may enter like last minute receipts whatever has been received, payments that have been done within the accounts receivables module for the invoices that you raised earlier. Okay, you can also enter any invoices, all right? Uh, also, you can print the invoices, you can run the auto invoice program, you can run the create accounting program and post to GL, and then you can also reconcile your AR with the GL, okay? And then you can close the current period and then open the next period on a monthly basis all right now um like i said in my previous classes when i was discussing the end month processes of the other modules i talked about the reconciliation again even with the accounts receivables module you will you would have to do reconciliations okay you have to reconcile balances between the the accounts receivables module and the general ledger okay and how to do that you have to run the reports okay and then do the reconciliation using those reports okay now um as far as the reports are concerned uh these are some of the reports that you may have to run one of them is the sales journal by gl account you use this report to confirm that the transactions register 
matches your sales journals, all right? Um, another report is the receipt journal report, okay? You use this report to review details of any receipts, okay, that appear in your journal entry reports, okay? Uh, there's another uh, report that you may run uh, for your reconciliation purposes, that's the journal entries report. Okay, this report provides the information that you need to reconcile your AR with GL. Okay, and you can use the report to review the details that make up your GL journal entries. All right, um, there is another report, the aging report. This basically you run this report to review information about your open items. Okay, uh, there is usually people, there is debtors who have not paid you at some point. Okay, and you can be able to see those who have any past due invoices. All right, okay, so you use that aging report. All right. Um, that's pretty much it as far as the end month process for the uh, for the accounts receivable module is concerned. I'll see you in my next class. Thank you. Bye bye.